Welcome to March, everybody. In this video, we're going to be previewing a first four matchup in the Midwest region. The number 10 seed Virginia Cavaliers taking on another 10 seed, the Colorado State Rams, in what should be a great matchup, getting us kicked off on Tuesday. For the Virginia Cavaliers, it was an up and down season for UVA this year. They finished with a 23 and 10 record and third in the ACC, losing in the ACC tournament semifinal. As per usual, a Tony Bennett team that is built on defense, maybe even more so this year than years past because of their struggles on the offensive end of the floor. This team is seventh in the nation in defensive efficiency, and they're top 40 in numerous defensive metrics across the board. This is the slowest paced team in all of the country in college basketball, 362nd in tempo for Virginia. They're obviously led by Reese Beekman, the ACC Defensive Player of the Year, and their best player as well. But my key player for Virginia is sophomore guard Isaac McNeely. This guy, a very, very streaky shooter and a big part of their mover blocker offense, which relies on jump shooting. Here's a stat for you. McNeely, when he hits three or more threes for UVA, they are 10-2 and two this season. When he's hitting his jump shots, it really unlocks this offense for the Cavaliers. The big concern for this Virginia team is their offense. It's plain been bad here this year in 2023-2024. 194th in the nation in offensive efficiency, which for an ACC team, that is certainly below average. Uh, they average 52 points per game in their losses this year. And again, with the mover blocker offense, they rely heavily on jump shots when they're not shooting the ball well from outside. They really, really struggle to score, which again, gives me big time concerns about this Cavaliers offense. Now for the Colorado State Rams, the other 10 seed here in this first four matchup. They finished the year 24 and 10 overall. They finished sixth in a really, really tough Mountain West Conference this year and lost in the semifinals to New Mexico, who went on as the conference champions in the Mountain West Conference. This team is all about ball movements and really, really talented guard play for the Rams. This team is second in the nation in assist rate. They move the ball tremendously well, and they're led by their senior guard, Isaiah Stevens, who averaged 17 points per game along with seven assists. When he is playing at his best, this team is really, really tough to stop. My key player for the Rams is Joel Scott, their senior big man. When he is going down low and he gives them another offensive threat, again, really talented and, and tough offense to stop when they've got Scott going as well. The big concern for me about this Rams team is their lack of size and their lack of rebounding. They're 305th in the nation in offensive rebounding, and they don't play anybody above six foot eight really significant minutes. So it's a pretty small guard oriented lineup out there on the floor for the Rams. Now, as far as this matchup goes, lucky for Colorado State, UVA doesn't rebound the ball particularly well either. So they might not necessarily be as hurt with their lack of size and rebounding in this game as maybe other games that they might be facing potentially in the future in this tournament or if the draw was different for the Colorado State Rams. Virginia really relies on the jump shot. They need to hit threes in this game to advance to the round of 64, and I'm just not sure that they're going to be able to make enough jump shots. Colorado State, a really tough and talented offensive team, I think Isaiah Stevens can knock down some jumpers and loosen up this really tough pack line defense for Virginia. And with that, give me the Colorado State Rams to move on here in the first four, knock out the Virginia Cavaliers, and pick up the first win of the tournament on Tuesday. Do you want to win your March Madness bracket pool? Do you want to not only beat your friends and family, but absolutely humiliate them? If you like the sound of that, subscribe down below to College Hoops tonight because we're previewing all 36 first round games of the NCAA tournament to give you 
the edge you need to nail your bracket and absolutely crush your friends and family in your bracket pool.